Ready? Time to go, my friends. <laughs> what the f I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together, we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. I have a gift for you. Come and check it out. Whoa. Happy birthday, babe. Thank you. Yeah, today is Roberta's birthday. And a nice sunrise for your birthday. You like it? It's a watercolor, babe. Yeah, let's just start up the day really well. Today, we're gonna go sailing. Yeah, Hope but it, so. yeah, in order to go sailing, we need to more first because we need to cross the bridge as always. The wind is really light right now, but we need to cross the bridge before 8.30 or maybe before 9 because of the tide. And then when we cross the bridge, we wait for another, I don't know, three hours with his Roberta's family because it's Roberta's birthday today. And then we can go sailing and we have a friend coming to go sailing with us today. It's already confirmed? 95, 95%. <laughs> yeah. So basically in the afternoon, the wind is going to pick it up. So we're going to wait until the afternoon to keep moving south. But no. <laughs> How deep is here now? I don't know. No draft. <laughs> you might be touching the ground a little bit. But here there's like one meter of mud. Yeah, indeed. So it's all good. It's funny that as we don't have uh, the center bar down right now, the boat turns like uh, in its own axis. The view of the bridge never gets old. It's so beautiful. As usual, we made it on the minute. It's exactly the low tide now. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Like Great. We're, we're good in math. Here we go. I think we can pass by the bridge 200,000 times and I'm still gonna be nervous. Yeah, keep an eye and tell me if I can go. Can I go? I don't know. Hope so. Yeah. Are you ready to test the autopilot? Yeah. So cool, the autopilot is doing its job. It's the automatic calibration of the autopilot with the compass. So it's doing an S turn. Have you told them which autopilot we have? So we have the NEC3 autopilot with the old drive. The old drive that was on the boat. It's working really good. We are trying that. If it works properly, we're going to keep that and then we just buy a replacement for when it breaks. But for now, it seems like it's gonna work. I think you made it. We have an autopilot. Yay! That's so cool. Happy birthday. Thanks that for was the, the gift. gift. Yeah, that was, <laughs> Roberta said she wanted a gift for her birthday, like a surprise. That's a surprise, we have an autopilot yeah, now. Surprise, surprise. Here we go. We have a friend today. Time to go sailing. Another Eduardo. Yeah. <laughs> He's my kite surfing teacher. Huh? 11 years ago. Now I, 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 I kite surf better than him. Right? <laughs> uh, just, okay, okay. <laughs> just the idea is to open the main sail. Like that, we're 
sailing. First time we left the mooring boat with our engine at all. That's pretty good. Life's better this way. What a nice birthday day. <laughs> Raise a glass, you've made it another year. Happy birthday. Have a laugh, crack a smile. It's your birthday. Ready to try the autopilot under sails for the first time. <laughs> it's magical. It's not. Keep in mind. <laughs> Let's keep it here. Should be magical. Yeah, it didn't, didn't stay that long. I this thought I, I got my birthday gift today, but it seems that's not ready. <laughs> I think all the fishermen in the island are fishing today. There are so many fishing boats and we don't know where they are putting their in the nets. It's hard to sail today. So we have a, a flag here and another one here. And we need to go between these two flags because there are one night there and another night all the way to there. And there is another fishing boat right ahead. I'm not sure where is his net because <laughs> just tons of net. But it's good because we are practicing how to maneuver. We didn't start the engine so far. We're just trying to get away from nets just under sail. So that we just took off the Genoa. We yeah. We just closed the Genoa. Easier to maneuver? Yeah, because it's easier to maneuver as we didn't understand which flags we needed to go around. At least this time the fisherman came close by just to show us the way because yeah. he, it's hard to understand sometimes because they use just tiny flags that you cannot tell there is a, a net. It was nice of him to show us where it was. This is one of the flags. It's like a game, we need to go around and <laughs> we are maneuvering the boat around the nets. Yes, yeah, like we need a to game. find out that one. That's the next game, the next phase of the game. We just <laughs> find out where is that guy's net. No, <laughs> oh, we got we got some good way. We sail all the way. Yeah. First time. That's pretty good. Ah. So we are going there, but we need to go all the way there because there are a lot of sand banks around here. I think you already know this place, right? We are going to Duca's dad's house in, in Cayera da Barra do Sul. But no one is at home. We're yeah. gonna be the only ones at home. The rats are invading the house. <laughs> What's happening? Send us down. We need to go back on the channel now. Against the wind and it's impossible to go upwind because we are arriving. <laughs> so now we can start the engine. Let's go around. Good morning. What are you doing here? I'm just on, uh, how do you call, rain aground watch. <laughs> We're slowly raining aground. It's amazing how shallow this place is. Check this out. The water is like here sometimes. So we are touching the ground. Every time it moves, we just like touch a little bit. But the problem is we still have one and a half hours like one hour and a half of tide going even lower that means we're gonna run aground yeah I just you can feel like you just like moving in suddenly I mean supposedly nothing can happen we have a flat bottom I just don't like the rudder because the rudder uh, we have like you know a skeg and the rudder on the top but still if the boat do like this the rudder can touch yeah. the bottom 
So I'm just keeping an eye on, just to, I don't know, do nothing because yeah, not, there is nothing much we can do. Just to be worried. Yeah, just anxiously waiting for one hour and then like, that's it, we start going up again. And look how far we are from the land. Sometimes happens. At least we don't have a kill, you know, we yeah. just touch the bottom. If there was no wind, fine, but with wind you just keep moving and then you keep, you know, yeah. bouncing in. I can feel the boat touching the sand. Luke is checking how deep is this around. The only thing that scares us is that we have a sensor that the sand can hit and we can have some water inside the boat. So the sensor is here and I'm checking it all the time. It's all good until now. As it's the first time it's happening, we are a little bit worried, but it's gonna be all good. I have the map of the entire area now in my mind. <laughs> If we go closer to the neighbor's dock, it's a little bit deeper, might, might be like this much deeper. Where my dad has his mooring bow, it's like 30 centimeters deeper than here, but the area is not that big, so for us it doesn't really matter. I think the, the main thing is not come here on a really low tide. I think actually we should use this low tide for something good, get lunch. There's a lot of clamps on the rocks and now that the, the tide is really low, I can get clamps for the lunch. Ready for some swing? Sometimes you need to take one for the team. That's <laughs> my second one, one from the, for the team. I think it's the important thing to check the bottom. How is the boat sitting on the bottom? If it's touching the sensor, if it's touching the rudder, just to know, because if it's not touching anything, if it's just flat and fine, we don't need to worry. We can come here anytime we want. We just like, you know, sit on the bottom. But for that, I need to check. Water is cold. <laughs> At least you have this suit. It's still cold. Do you wanna go? I can let you use I don't my have suit. a suit. Oh sure. Ready? Time to go my friends. <laughs> what the f this is just bizarre. I can walk to the house. Unbelievable. Just like this we can walk around the boat. It's so cold, I just don't feel like going underneath, but I think I might need to go down to check the sensor. I don't want to, but I think you won't see anything. Black. Just black, you won't see. Uh, where's the sensor? It's around. <laughs> so cold. I didn't find yet. I don't think you're gonna see it. It's straight on the bottom. I, I won't yeah. be able to touch. Let's see if we can manage to walk all the way to the house. I'm just walking around and checking how deep is around the area so we can anchor in better place in the future. Here close to the house is a little bit deeper, not much, but maybe like 15, 20 centimeters deeper, but still. My dad's boat, my brother's boat. Oh, behind. The other thing I want to check is if it's possible for us on the high tide to come all the way to the dock and to fill up the water on the dock. Right there. You know what that means? We definitely can come here on the high tide and fill up with water. That's good news and we have water right here. And today we are going to have lunch probably. We're going to get some clams. This is gonna be lunch today. Oh well, just another day in the off-sea. My first time by myself in the dinghy. I'm kind of nervous. looks like sitting on the sand. <laughs> Look, it's checking our anchor now. I think it's far away. <laughs> the 
anchor is so deep on the other side that it's just like the little arch outside. <laughs> there is no way this anchor is gonna drag. No Wait. way. Wait here. Good. Now, I think we should go to land. Come on board. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a ride. Thank you. First time Robert is by herself on the jig. Robert is pretty good. Now we need to learn how because to... Because I'm older now. Oh, she's wiser <laughs> now. Now you need to learn how to get to the boat by yourself. You just do a little bit of uh, momentum and you turn off. Okay. I did it! <laughs> Welcome home, babe. I yeah. got you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Ha! I did it! We're still stuck on the ground. They just to put a second anchor? Yeah, the problem <laughs> is that right now the tide is going to start coming up. And as soon as the tide comes up, the boat's going to turn around <coughs> because of the currents and we're gonna go on the top of the anchor because we don't want to go against the anchor and it's really shallow so even though we're gonna float again so we're gonna get the this anchor and go a little bit far that way and set this anchor up and then hopefully the boat won't turn around this time because all the time the current is so strong here that you are like against the wind it's like back side to the wind no good This is not the best way to do we should use the chain we don't have the shackle right now that fits here we're just in a hurry because if we don't do that now the boat is gonna turn so it is what it is this is gonna hold for today the cable is already pulling it's already working where are you going get some lunch <laughs> follow me you understand Did you find a nest? This water comes from a waterfall that there is on the top of the hill? I'm telling you, there are many here. You just need to be patient, you'll find many. Ooh. Check a crab. Huge crab. <laughs> Come on. Oh. I just lost my, lost my favorite Pants. You can just sweet. That's it. <laughs> we need to send a, send a picture to my dad and check if this one we can eat. You said there was none. I found a lot. Did you talk to my dad about the crab? Yeah, we can eat just the the claws. You need to take the big one, leave the other one because it grows again. What? I need to take and give back to the water? Yeah. I cannot do that. So, do you want to give the, the crab back to the nature? I, I think so. So, crab is our lucky day. It's our lucky day. Hey, it's your lucky day. So, let's go back to the nature crab. So, I think that's good for today, don't you think? It's a good meal. I think so. It's a good free meal. Just the <laughs> nature. Thanks, nature. We really appreciate nature. It's pretty good. So, the idea is to cook this for dinner. We are gonna leave this with salt water for now, but because we still need to edit videos and everything, yeah. take a shower. I need to take a shower. I, I need to get a warm shower. Let me know if you know how you call it. I have no idea. See you later. Look is in the shower and we forgot to put the lid on the pan and look at this, they are going out. If we want to eat, we need to work. Now it's time to take them out of the shells. We cook this for like 25 minutes around and now I'm gonna take this water off. We get this. Like this. That's it. 
it's out all we need to do is to take this little hard thing on the back there's a little thing on the back this and also this black thing here that tastes really bad so this one out and that's it's good to eat so from all that that's what we have left but this is gonna be a really good sauce just wait and see <laughs> what do we need for the recipe water, water. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but we are moving so much, you have no idea. This anchorage in front of my dad's house, it's a really good protected place from wind, but the current is so strong that even though like we don't have big waves, we are always against the wind for half of the night. So depending on the tide, if it's going in or out, we are either facing the, wi the wind or we are backwards to the wind. So right now we set a turn anchor so we are trying not to turn around and we are kind of sideways to the wind so it's just like slapping the hull of the boat on the little waves all the time and it's just so loud on a metal boat right you're learning that yeah you can tell it See? seems that we are inside a building a construction, construction building <laughs> see i'm really really hungry and i love this food Enjoy. Good. We'll see you guys see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I don't know what we are gonna do. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> That's a nice place. The calm before the storm. Mm -hmm.